Hey guys and welcome to today's video. So today we are doing a haul video. I have done a little bit of shopping and I've picked up some new products, some new released makeup that has just been released brand new to the makeup scene and we're gonna go over those today. So let's just jump into it. I don't have too, too much to share with you guys but the stuff that I have is super good. So let's just get into it. Okay, I'm gonna start off with these right here, you guys. These are the new Viseart blusher palettes. I picked up two of them. I believe there are three. I picked up two out of the three. I don't know if these are coming to Sephora or not. I picked these up on Muse Beauty Pro. They sent me an email because um, I've shopped there before and their email told me that these were just released. So I was all over them because Viseart is one of my absolute, absolute favorite eyeshadow palettes ever. Like I pull them out on a daily basis. So when I saw that Viseart came out with these new palettes, you didn't have to twist my arm twice because I was all over that email. I'm like, shopping cart is ready. Let's go. I'm buying these. So the ones that I got are the Rose Coral number two palette. Palette. And then the other one is the number one plum bronze palette. And I'll go over all the colors with you. But let's take a look at the rose coral palette first. This first pink shade right here is what I have on my cheeks today. It's really gorgeous. I've worn a couple of these different blushes actually in both of these now. They're all beautiful, beautiful colors. You can do so many different looks with these. I'll swatch a couple of the shades for you guys on my hand and that way you can see them close up. They are more of like a powdery type of formula. They're very matte. And you know what they remind me of? They remind me of the Ben Nye blushes. If you guys have ever tried the Ben Nye powder blushes, the formula of these really reminds me of the Ben Nye. All right, so I'm just gonna do three swatches at a time. So the first swatches I'll show you are these right here. And again, this first one right here is what I have on my cheeks right now. All right, so there are those swatches up close. That is the one I have on my cheeks. They're really beautiful colors. You can see the good color payoff that they give. All right, then the other three shades on this palette are gonna be these ones right here. These are more of the like peachy, corally, red undertone type of blushes. All right, so here's these three up close. You get a great peachy tone. This one is a gorgeous coral tone. And then obviously this one's a more red undertone blush, really pretty. All right, so let's move on to this one right here. This is the number one plum bronze palette. This one is so gorgeous too. You get these amazing plummy undertone blushes. And then on this side, you get these beautiful like tan bronze shades that you can use as blushes. You can use to contour and bronze up your skin. You can kind of do a variety of different things with these, but this palette is gorgeous. I'll show you guys this one up close too. All right, so we're gonna start off with this side right here on the plummy side. And there are those three tones right here. I wore the first two before I've not worn this one yet, but the first two I have worn the other day. You can see some of them look a little bit patchy and that's because they're a little bit powdery, like I said, but when you blend them onto your cheeks, they don't look patchy on your cheeks, but I have noticed when I've swatched them, some of them do come off a little bit more patchy looking. Okay, then here is the bronze side. You get this really nice light tan side. This is gonna make a gorgeous blush as well. And then you get this color, which is gonna be amazing to use as a bronzer or a blush. And then this one has a little bit of a sheen to it. This one is the first one that I've come across that has more of a slight sheen to it. That is gonna make a gorgeous blush. So that is the look of these two blusher palettes by Viseart. Like I said, I really, really like them. I think they are a little bit powdery. I think they're a little bit crumbly, but when you pick them up with your brush and you do apply them to your skin, they don't come off like that. But when you swatch them, they do. But on your skin, they look really pretty. And they are definitely matte. So if you like a matte blush, you will definitely love these. But they're all great colors, and I can definitely see myself using these when I travel, because you can pull this out, easily throw in your bag, and you have multiple different blushes that you can use. So I really like that, especially this one too. You can use like bronzers. And you guys know how I love like the peachy tan type of blushes too. So using these as blushes is really pretty too. So you can do a lot with these. But all in all, these are really great blushes. I will definitely be using these. Are they my favorite blushes? Probably not my favorite, but I will definitely get good use out of these. All right, so then I picked up something else by Viseart as well. I picked up the third and final installment of my Viseart Theory Palette collection. This is in the shade Minx, which is like that beautiful warm tone. I had to pick this up. I seriously pull out the Viseart Theory Palettes, which are the smaller size um, palettes. I pick them out of my collection all the time and use them on a daily basis. They are so gorgeous. So I really wanted to get the last one as well, and this one I did not have, so I picked this up. I mean, look at these colors. They're absolutely stunning. I mean, I'll just swatch a couple of these. Their eyeshadows are my favorites. If I had to pick between like the eyeshadows and the blushes, between like which ones are definite must-have, their eyeshadows hands down are the best formula eyeshadows 
ever. So let me just swatch a couple of these. I'll swatch the sheen shades and you guys will see what they look like. So here's three of the shadows out of the palette. These are the ones that have more of the sheen to them. The other three are matte, which is another reason I love these palettes because you get like such a good mix of sheens and mattes that you can really create a lot of looks. But you can just see how like pigmented and smooth these are and they're very blendable. These eyeshadows are just definitely, definitely one of my favorites. All right, so then if you follow me on Snapchat, you know the new mascara that I picked up and that I'm using right now. We started carrying this on Premiere Look as well. A couple of my employees were like telling me that we have to start carrying this. And actually some of you guys were telling me too, to try the Revitalash Volumizing Mascara. We carry a lot of the Revitalash products, but we weren't carrying the mascara. My friend Tammy who works with me, she was like, it is better than the Chanel mascara. I was like, no way. She's like, yes. And the thing that I love about this is it actually has the lash serum in it when it's crazy because this is like a $26, $27 mascara when you can purchase like that Chantikai or Chantikai, however you say it, their mascara with the lash grow serum in it and it's like $70. So this one, if you guys know already, I use the Revita Lash Lash Serum and it works like nothing else. So when she told me that this mascara is amazing on top of it, I tried it and right away I literally called and I got a bunch in to put on the site because it's amazing you guys. This mascara with the primer that I've been using, I told you guys about that I've been using the Revitalash primer. Oh my gosh, makes your lashes look so amazing. The wand is just a perfect size wand. It is very easy to get all your lashes, but it's very volumizing and lengthening at the same time. And it comes in one shade, it's called Raven, and it's super black. Like this mascara, I just absolutely love. And the fact that it has like the lash serum that actually helps your lashes grow with it is just such a plus. So we also started carrying these, and this is the new Revitalash Defining Liner Eyeliner. Revitalash just came out with these, and we got both the shades and we got Deep Java and the black shade. I have been using the Deep Java on a daily basis. If you go back to a couple of my previous videos, this is the eyeliner I was wearing. They're so nice. It's a perfect twist up type eyeliner, which I love personally. I love the ones that are like creamy and you can twist up. And the pigmentation's amazing. This is the Deep Java shade. It's like a perfect everyday liner without having the black, like harsher liner look. This is just a perfect, perfect liner. And like, look at this. Like look how pigmented and easy that is. I mean, it just swipes on your eye. It doesn't tug, it doesn't pull. It is such a great eyeliner. Again, Revitalash just knocks it out of the park. I have been obsessed. Like this is a great liner. One more thing by Revitalash that I just recently picked up and started using and oh, my gosh, again, I am telling you, Revitalash. Revitalash is amazing. Everything they put out is amazing. This is their Revitalash Fine Line Primer. So this is a makeup primer. And I've actually carried this now for a while on my site and I haven't tried it. But until again, I was in the office the other day and all the girls in the office were like, why are you not trying this primer? Like, try it out, test it out for us. Let me know what you think because they're all obsessed with Revitalash products like I am. Like, everyone in there is obsessed with everything that Revitalash comes out with. So they were like, take this home and try this. So I was like, all right, why have I not tried this? I'm gonna take it home and try it. Oh my gosh, you guys, this makeup primer is insane. It's such a like unique formula. It's kind of like a, gosh, it's like a moussey type of moisturizer kind of, but it's really nice on your skin. It just kind of rubs into your skin. You can just see, it's just kind of like a, it's like a whipped moussey formula. And then you put it on your skin, like put it all over my face. It kind of has like, it has like a silicone slight feel to it, kind of has a slight moisturizer feel to it, but you can tell your makeup is gonna stick and last with this. It's something, you can just like feel it's a good primer. So I put this on, I was like super intrigued, and then I saw that it literally took away every pore. Like nothing else, no other primer I have ever tried. This blurs and takes away pores like nothing else. So that's what this is supposed to do. It's actually supposed to minimize lines and kind of fill in lines and wrinkles and also take away pores. It definitely, definitely does that. Like when you put this on your skin, it magically blurs imperfections and then it also, no pores, like no pores on your skin. I am absolutely obsessed. So everyone at the office, I can tell you guys right now, you're gonna want this too. This is such an amazing primer, honestly. Honestly, the best. All right, we're gonna wrap up this haul video with the last couple things. They're all lip products. So Sarah Hap came out with a new lip gloss. Again, we carry Sarah Hap on our Premier Look website. I love, love, love her lip glosses. I've talked about them in so many previous videos. It's the One Lux Gloss. She just came out with this shade. It's the Fuchsia Slip. You guys know she has like the Nude Slip, the Peach Slip, the Ballet Slip, 
and there's one more but they're so amazing and they're mostly like nudes and pinks and then this one she came out with which is such a beautiful more bright pinky fuchsia color absolutely stunning the formula of her lip glosses are beautiful they are very moisturizing on the lips but they last a long time on your lips you really don't have to touch up a lot throughout the day with these lip glosses they look great on their own they look great on top of a lipstick so you can kind of do a lot of different things with them but they're a really really great formula and a lot of people like love these lip glosses so that is her new shade all right so i had to pick up one of these because the packaging is just to die for this is the huda beauty her liquid matte lip Sticks. Look at that packaging, you guys. Like, isn't that not the coolest, most unique packaging? I mean, honestly, this, like, hands down takes the winner of, like, cutest packaging ever. I am not even, like, a really big, like, lipstick liquid fan, but I had to try these because I really wanted to test her products out. I had not tried her lip liners yet, but I wanted to get my hands on one of these and test it out. So this is in the shade Bombshell. Now, again, this is a liquid lipstick, but I will tell you guys... It's super drying. It's actually what I have on my lips right now, but I couldn't like stand it without a gloss on top of it. So I put a gloss on top of it and it's absolutely beautiful, which is what I usually do with these type of really matte liquid lipsticks. I usually have to put a gloss on. But then the thing that I like about that is like your lips do stay good really long because you have that underlying pigment on your lips and then the gloss just helps it feel more comfortable. So that's kind of what I do, but these are definitely very drying on your lips. That is the shade Bombshell right here. And again, that is what I have on my lips. And then I put on the Tarte Hella Lip Gloss on top, which is just one of my favorite glosses. So that is the shade right here. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. There's a wide variety of colors in these. Um, but again, if you don't like that super matte type of liquid lipstick, that is what these are. But again, if you put a gloss on it, you can totally make it work. And I've had this gloss on for a while now, and my lips are super comfortable with the gloss on top. So super pretty color, though. I really like the color. All right, and the last lip product to end this haul today is one of those Sephora oil infusions that I told you guys I've just been absolutely loving lately. These are just so perfect for those days where you are like, you know, wanting a no makeup look, but you want something on your lips that's like moisturizing with a wash of color, you know, nothing too crazy. Like these are perfect and they make your lips feel so good. So this is the Iced Coffee number no. 9 shade and it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous, everyday, perfect nude. I mean, like I said, they're very sheer, but this one gives the most perfect wash of just like that pinky nude to your lips and it just feels amazing it really makes your lips look plump and smooth so here's number nine iced coffee you can see it's sheer with just like the perfect amount of color that's just going to look super natural throughout the day and they just really make your lips feel moisturized and plump and that is everything that is everything i picked up recently thank you guys all so much for hanging out today please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy this haul and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave down there thank you guys all again for watching and i'll see you in my next video. Bye.